sup, sup, sup. My name is Ryu. Welcome to my gaming channel. Just like my Titan said, prepare for Titanfall. This is Titanfall 2. What you're about to be seeing in this gameplay, this montage from gameplay that I cut up and I mushed together. And I've not played the campaign, but I've heard great things about the campaign. This game is one that I honestly feel people should be looking at right now. I may do more of these in the future where I talk about games that people should be looking at right now and don't get enough love or just get completely overshadowed by their brothers that come out like two weeks prior. And I'm talking yes about Battlefield 1. That totally happened, thanks EA. The team from Respawn have made one hell of a shooter that I am addicted to. Not nearly as much as Overwatch, but goddamn it, it's close. So let's talk about a few things that you may not know about Titanfall and a few things that I just purely want to talk about from here. It came to my attention that Titanfall 1 was the sort of the uh, forefather or the foreshadowing into the ultimate ability that we have in Overwatch. Now it's completely different as where you get a charge mirror that builds up to a Titan. See where I'm going with this. And that was Titanfall 1. In Overwatch, obviously, that plays out completely different because of the hero we play and has MOBA aspects that, you know, fusing things that were infused. Titanfall does it differently. You have two different meters depending on the game mode you're playing. One of them is amped up weapons or sentry. You know, it's kind of like a reverse kill streak, but you earn up to it. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, the team from Respawn is the same team that made Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2, you know, those good games that came from the core aspects of that team that made those games so fucking good for what they were. Say what you will about Modern Warfare 2 and its crazy ass camping and noob tubes and nukes and whatnot, but it was still an all around much better game than a lot of the Call of Duties as of late, in my personal opinion. The thing I found myself loving about Titanfall 2, even though it has tons and tons and tons of wall running and crazy grapple hooks that look like they came out of an anime, the one thing that has kept me so damn fucking tired in this game is just that it feels smooth as butter, as crazy as it gets sometimes, as nutty as it can be, as off the walls and charts arcade kind of shooter it can be, it feels so tight to me compared to a lot of FPS's I've played. And trust me, I've played my fair share of FPS's and this one feels fucking unique. The pilot versus pilot mode I played quite a bit of just to get my bearings, honestly, when it came back to playing, you know, an Xbox shooter because I have not touched a controller in weeks because I was just PC elitist mode when it came to Overwatch. I've been enjoying the crap out of that game. I'm sorry I keep going back to it. The Titans all feel unique. There's a couple different ones, and the one that you see me playing in this gameplay, or will be seeing me, has a fucking chain gun and it's fun as hell to use. He also has a little, like, kind of, I, I want to make the the Reinhardt kind of, you know, rendition here. Like, look, it's a, you know, it's a barrier shield. It's what everyone knows right now. But, this game is fast-paced, insane, and I, I really wish I would have touched the campaign before making this video. In all honesty, I feel like I don't do it justice. Because I'll be doing a Let's Play of the campaign at some point. That's why I didn't do it and why I focused on the multiplayer. One of my favorite guns, and yes, everything is completely free when it comes to new maps and new titans and whatnot. There are, like, personalization packs that you can buy, but keep in mind, this game is literally always on sale for 30 bucks, and it's new, and it's good. It's actually a good shooter. You may find yourself actually liking it. Like, let me put it this way. If you didn't like Black Ops 3 for whatever reason, then you're probably going to end up liking this game. Probably. I can't guarantee you're going to like the game, but I'm just telling you from my personal experience, this game is fun. A lot of fun. The grenades feel great, and there's different ones. There's a there's a freaking ninja star that you can throw, and it blows up in people's faces. There's one that creates a dimensional little freaking portal where we'll blame Barry Allen. It sucks everyone in and blows them all up. That's why I love the grappling hook, because it gets you out of that situation. There's also a pistol that has pretty much a power of a shotgun, but it's two kill. You know, two hit, two kill. And of course, you have your anti titan guns, which are always fun to watch being used. There's tons of game modes, and the population on Xbox is fantastic. I can't speak for PC or PS4, but from searching the Reddit, it seems that people were able to get in matches just as quickly as I'm able to get them on the Xbox One. Now, 
if you're worried about, you know, people just dropping this game, I really wouldn't. Games are meant to be fun, and a lot of times people just seem to forget that, that the fun aspect is supposed to be a thing, and we shouldn't really just, just shut off our brains. There's enough crap in the world to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that this game is just a good way to unwind. Oh, and did I mention, it has one of my favorite things from, you know, the old Call of Duties. One hits Melanate kills. I could punch a dude in the dick, or I could punch him in the head, and he goes flying. I love it. Mid-air battles, and I couldn't get it in the footage, but I've tried. Where you guys are like, you know, you and your your freaking enemy are flying at each other, and you just punch him, and he goes flying. It's super satisfying. When you get a kill, it feels earned. Now, let's talk about some complaints I actually do have. There is an active camo. For those of you who don't realize what that is, it's invisibility. Granted, you'll be able to see him at some point, you get used to it, to see where the guy is, but that thing with a sniper rifle still makes my head hurt a lot of times. The, the basically kill to death ratios are through the room. You're gonna die a lot because it's fast paced, with faster movement comes you dying a lot more than you typically would, and I died out of a lot of my deaths in this featurette. So, what I'm getting at here is, while you die a lot, your brain just shuts off and you're like, well, this is fun, do I really care how much I'm dying? I'm not gonna really focus on, you know, being MLG at this game, I'm just gonna focus on playing it. There is a gun, if I'm mistaking the name here and you're well aware of it, you can feel free to correct me politely in the comment section, I appreciate that. I think it's the V... like, V47 or something? It's the AK-47. Like, obviously it's a futuristic version, but it plays just like an AK-47. And, for those of you who don't know, when it comes to those kind of, like, Call of Duties and whatnot, the AK-47 was always a personal favorite of mine, just because of the way it felt. It's one of those guns that the recoil is kind of through the roof, it's a little ridiculous. Not in time fall so much, but it always just felt great and had the same feel. It's kind of like Halo's battle rifle. When you pick that thing up, it's smooth as butter, you know what you're doing with it. You have experience with it. That experience comes right back. There's no delay. There's no, oh, what do I do with this gun? You know, this is so weird to me. Why the time fall 2 guns? They're a little bit out there, some of them. I won't, I won't bullshit and sugarcoat it. They are, but it's fun. And that is the number one thing to focus on. This game is fun. Now, for those of you with a tight budget, I'm not going to tell you to pick this over at Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 is an insane PTSD-inducing, you know, game that I can't wait to feature on the channel. But obviously, I just suck at right now because it's my first Battlefield. But Titanfall 2 is a completely different 360 degree turn away from it. And I think the reason a lot of people were not picking it up or looking at this game, and why personally I'm probably making this video besides the fact that I actually do enjoy the game, is a lot of people are picking up Infinite Warfare to get Modern Warfare Remastered. And then of course you have the other half, which are the people either younger or more into the whole modern shooter that are just picking up Call of Duty because they enjoy Call of Duty with their friends. But I would advise you, give Timefall to a chance. Because I think what you'll end up finding is a game that you will find enjoyable. And I know how insane that sounds right now. You're probably sitting there going, no. No. You're lying to me. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to find this game enjoyable. And it, it's not going to happen. Maybe not every... It will never happen. Maybe not everyone will find this game enjoyable. But from what I've seen from the campaign alone, from the game sections, it's insane. It's crazy, and it's written by a good team. I gotta hand them that much. Now the maps. The maps are vertical. You know, you can go up, you can go across. They're crazy, they're tight spaces. I love it. Shotguns, sniper rifles, rocket launchers, for all here, all the crazy plastics. And there is a, uh, I don't know how otherwise to word this, a PvP slash PvE game mode where you and the squad of eight alongside with PvE basically being, you know, AI controlled mofos go against the same kind of squad on the enemy side, and I love it. It's crazy, Titans get into a 5v5, there's a capture the flag game mode if you're into that, there's the typical just Team Slayer, you know, it's, it's all fun. I, I honestly love this game. There's really no lag, there was lag when I first started playing, I'm not gonna bullshit, there was, but I think part of that was because my Wi-Fi router is a piece of junk 
and once I got my Xbox hooked into the Ethernet cable, I didn't really have any problems in this game. It smooth as butter and felt great too. So if you have not, give Titanfall 2 a chance, especially if you didn't give it a chance during the free weekend, which was this past weekend. And that was a great opportunity for everyone to get a feel for it and to see if you actually like the game. And that's why I kind of always say you should just take free advantage of when they say here's a free trial. Maybe find something you like, you didn't know you would. But anyway, I'm Ryan. Thank you so much for listening and watching this gameplay. If you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you on the next one. Till then.